believe we did 21 days 21 days of these classes has been amazing uh it has been a great reminder to me also on how much there in gardening to create content about because if i was to sit and generally think that i want to make 10 videos for gardening i would have struggled but making this 21 lives were easier and uh, that's the great thing about this so let's start let's start first with understanding the light that we did this is going to be a recap some of the things are going to be new because i have learned from your feedbacks over these 21 days so i will include some things which have come to me as questions so let's start this recap by talking about light and understanding indoor plants so what did we say we said there are no indoor plants but we should call them low light plants every plant loves light is just that the amount of light required is different in different kind of plants so let's call them low light plants and which are the low light plants that are really good for indoors so one i know is zizi and rest you can type right one i know which is also bending down i will fix it but this is a zizi plant it's an amazing plant for low light but the other examples would be uh singonium and uh money plant snake plant areca palm umbrella plant umbrella plant we have not talked about here i really love it if you can see it's there is this one it's also known as schefflera actually its name is schefflera and it comes in two varieties schefflera this kind of green and variegated the variegated variety comes from south india and the green one is essentially from north india uh or from pune i'm not saying it's native to there but in terms of supply of plants that's why what i found in if in if you are in north and you buy the variegated umbrella plant that does not last well because it comes from south and the weather is very different so yeah just a side note so low light plants and then the second point was what happens to low light plants if we give them some light if we give them some light they do much better so we should always try to give our in plants kept indoors or low light plants any amount of light we can and even artificial light will help so if you don't have balcony if you don't have some place to keep them outdoors if you're living in a hostel in a one room place don't worry give them some kind of light you have a tube light you have a fridge put it on top of fridge so that it's closer to the light or put it near a lamp any artificial light will help your plants tremendously that's point 2 just talking about light right now and another tip for great plants is to rotate them indoors and outdoors so every week every 10 days every 2 weeks take them out for one day and put them in balcony or put them some place where they can get some kind of light and that's why you can water them also so you don't have to worry about creating a mess indoors right they are outside you can water them outside and that's a good thing and so these are three tips i would say related to light and plant care which is extremely essential you might forget everything else and just do these properly and you will see results in your plants then second thing comes is second is watering and one of the most important thing to note is over watering will kill your plants when you overwater roots start rotting the plant has nothing to hold on to soil the plants cannot the biggest issue with root uh, overwatering is that we don't realize we have overwatered okay so i think there was some disturbance now so the biggest problem with overwatering is we don't realize we have overwatered so we continue to water more as our plant starts to uh, show yellow leaves and starts to uh droop and becomes under stress we think maybe it needs more water and we keep adding to the problem so over watering will kill water your plants only when the soil is dry that's it water only when the soil is dry for plants kept indoors i water them once in 2 weeks 
or once in three weeks in winters. Now in summers, probably I'm going to start watering them once a week or once in five days, six days, but not daily. Never make a schedule like saying I water my plants daily. Water whenever the soil is dry. That's the thumb rule. Always go with this. And uh, that's the very important thing. Second point is water the soil and not the plant. Right? Especially true for snake plant. For your succulents. And for plants like these. Water the soil. When you water the for snake plants, so when you say put water and create rot, which is known as crown rot, uh, we have to avoid that. Okay, so we have to avoid that rot in all circumstances. That's why I always focus on watering the soil. Another point very important is, uh, let's do it as a quiz. How should you water? Should you water a little amount of water multiple times or should you water more once and water less number of times in a month? Which of these two works? I mean, Shikha Jain says water more. Oh, sorry. Abhanaya says water more. Uh, Tarnit Kohli says thoroughly more once more water. NG Rao says yes less more times. Can I put no more water thoroughly but water less number of times. Absolutely essential, very essential. I'll tell you why. Firstly, when you water thoroughly, that's when the roots of the plant grow big. If they don't have an incentive to go down in search of water then they, the roots will not grow. And if the roots do not grow, your plant will not grow. So we have to water thoroughly. Secondly, your plant might already have roots deeper in the soil. But when you are not watering thoroughly, those roots will eventually dry out and they'll die. And that's again not something we want. Uh, third thing, which uh, is actually a bit new, but we are not covered. When you don't water thoroughly, what happens is the bottom layer of the soil becomes hard. It, it dries out and then it affects the drainage of the pot in future. So in future, once if you overwater, the water will not drain through properly. That's why from the very beginning, you should try to water well and water thoroughly so that it seeps through from the bottom. Very important. Okay. Supriya, so I will take your question, but uh, later. Okay, so that was light and this was watering. And then let's come to pruning, right? Trimming or cutting. How do we know where to cut? Let's do one thing. Let's fix this plant. I've been delaying fixing this for a long time. Okay. So this is a syngonium. Let's try to understand how do you fix this plant? Oh, I mean, how do you trim it? Let me first remove its support systems. Because we have done money plan many times, so I thought let's do Syngonium today. That will be great. Okay. So, you see, now let's try to see nodes in Syngonium. Syngonium has very prominent nodes. Okay. So, do you see this? This is a node, this is a node, this is a node, this is a node. And if you can see clearly, these are the aerial roots it has. Wait a second. You see the aerial roots? Yes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, 
it has roots at the bottom and it has this plant here firstly i'm going to cut it from the bottom so that it can create a new plant there this should create a new plant plus how do you so this actually we are doing propagation trimming we'll do just after this i, I forgot we, this is not really trimming in that sense uh, because i've taken off the plant itself from the plant main plant now what i see is uh, uh, there's already some new happening here and there's this i'm going to make a I can't decide how much to put in water. That's my only problem. So basically you get the idea. I have to cut at one of the nodes, either here I'll cut or I'll cut here. I'll do that after I have the water bottle so that I know exactly how much I need to put inside. But uh, that is the thing. Whenever you are propagating in water, always look at the nodes. Always be mindful of the nodes. Nodes are from where the new roots are going to come and if you have a plant like this i don't know why it is not rooting so this is not rooting clearly it is not rooting so one of the things that i do to fix this is i will make a fresh cut and this is spoiled so i'll make a fresh cut that's all i do uh it's very rare that it doesn't root, but if it happens that way, oh, this was not even touching the water. So. Plants, great plants to water propagate are money plant, uh, Syngonium, Wandering Jew. If you're wondering what sort of Wandering Jew, this is the leaf of a Wandering Jew. I think you might have seen the plant in general, but I'll show you at the end of the video. So. Always look at the nodes when you're water propagating or propagating in general. Now let's come to trimming. What do we know? Why do we do trimming? Why do we do trimming? So say I have a plant like this, money plant, right? Now, let me show this. It is important. Okay. Do you see this bunch growing from here? There's this bunch growing and there's just one leaf growing. Just one leaf growing. One leaf growing. There's this one leaf growing from the stem and there's a bunch growing from the stem. Now, what do you think? What? What would make your plants bushier if there is a bunch growing from the main stem or if there are just one single leaf growing? Definitely when there are bunches growing from either end of the stem, you will have a much bushier plants. And that's why we do trimming. So when we trim, the plant gets a signal to just do lateral growth, to survive. It's a survival instinct, grow more. And best thing with money plant is I can cut this here, this plant will get a sign of lateral growth and then I can use the remaining part just to propagate more plants. If nothing, I can go and put it back in the same pot so that there's a new a line of main stem and then that's how you make a pot really bushy and good looking. Okay, okay, okay. Great. Krishna Varma Abhinaya Purnima Jain and uh, Devanshu and N.G. Rao and Madhushri. Okay, what else? We talked about growing microgreens. In fact, one of the things that I want to just pause and say here is, if you grew any of the plants with us, if any plants you grew, be, or even if you did cutting of money plants with us or things like this, during these past 20 days, if you followed anything that we shared in these videos, then can you just share a photo or something on say video at lazygardener.in? Uh, Manoj would just put the email ID here and it's a video at lazygardener.in. Just share with us. I want to create a
situation. I want to show people because many times what happens is when I show what I have done, people still feel they can't do it. But when they see others doing in various manners, then they get an idea that yes, it can be done and I can try to. So just putting it out there. Okay. So we have done trimming. We have talked about light. We have talked about water and we talked about pruning. Right. And one of the other things that we talked about was how to know if you can rescue this plant or will this plant survive. Right? So one of the ways to do it is you take this plant. And you have to scratch the bottom of the plant. Scratch this stem here. Do you see there's some greenishness there? And that shows that it is living right now and you can take care of it. And there's a hope that a plant will come out of it. That is one other thing that we discussed about. What else did we do? We talked about money plant. We talked about trimming. Uh, there's some terms, gardening terms, which were left, which I want to just touch upon today. But one of the very important term is annuals. So what did we learn? Uh, annual plants, annuals, uh, do they last the whole year with us? Or what does that mean? Okay. One good question by Alpaxi Kasha. Will the vertical growth continue? I think it is about after trimming. So after trimming, what happens is, yes, new wines will come, which will continue growing. This one will also continue growing. It might divide a bit. So basically the plant will become bushier. In many other plants also like Sada Bahar and things like that. It will become bushier. It will still continue to grow big also. Because the fact is, every time you cut or trim, in a way, just think that it divides into two, uh, two new growth starts coming out and that new growth again, you can trim it and that will become into two or four or five, whatever it is. And the way it continues that way. So. Full life of a year, Sheetal Harpreet uh, stays. Uh, Full life of a year. Yes. So this is exactly where our Monday life got disconnected when we were talking about annuals means essentially seasonal plants as we refer to them in India. And they essentially mean that they complete their life cycle in a year. Right. So perennial plants are the ones which are going to stay with you year after year, every year. So that's the very important difference because I know we go online, we read about things and uh, we get confused. I, I used to get confused thinking that petunias are annuals. So they should last me the full year and they don't because essentially they're seasonal. So that is a very important thing, especially if you read online about plants because a lot of uh, data and text unfortunately is not from India. It is uh, from other countries and uh, that's why the terms used are different. Uh, uh, okay. Is there any reason why lemongrass turns brown in Jira? So there are a lot of questions on lemongrass. I'll just say one tip. In winters, lemon plant, plant like Tulsi, it does go into a bit of dormancy. Now as the season starts to warm up a bit, it will grow and grow big and become much fuller and greener and things like that. So that's the important thing. Uh, two more very important things I'll say because I also see that in comments. Jade, is that an indoor plant or is it an outdoor plant? I think that's one question we really need to take into account. We had done this in the first class of light, if you remember. Where should we keep jade plant? Also known as elephant bush. 
I just came to know that very recently. Somebody said my elephant bush is having issue, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's jade plant. So where should we keep jade plant indoors or outdoors? For jade, Rashi Gulati says, Sukriti Setia says outdoors, and uh, Harpreet Kaur says outdoors. Jay Ujjareja says outdoors. Uh, Neha Khandelwa says in a window. Neha Khandelwal is playing safe. It's like it's outdoors because it's a window, but I've just kept it inside. Can you tell small plants? Outdoor. Jade has to be kept uh, outdoors. Very important. Very important. They love bright sun. They love sunlight. The watering has to be very less. What about succulents? Where do you keep succulents? Succulents, you know, right? Those things in cute little pots that we buy, which are expensive. Where do you keep succulents? That's the next question. So, Tapa Basu, not both. It has to be outdoors. Shivangi, not indoors. Uh, Madushri, yes, Sadavahar is same as Vinka, as same as Periwinkle. That is referring to when I was saying in trimming, you can trim Sadavahar. Sadavahar is also called Vinka or Periwinkle. Outdoor, 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 dry place plus indoor. Sutapa, no, succulent has to be outdoors. Uh, outdoors, Shivangi says outdoors. Uh, Put it in window sunlight, uh, bright indirect sunlight. Yes, bright indirect sunlight outdoors. Uh, succulents again, light, light and uh, sun and very less moisture. They don't like moisture. They hate moisture. I say out of these 20, 21 days, one of the learnings. I mean, if I have to leave you with just two points, I would leave you one with water when the soil is dry. And secondly, put your succulent outdoors. I think these are the only two things that are really of matter right now as i see the focus on plants uh, of people just because succulents are sold in cute pots we think it's a great idea to put them on the table but sadly that's not true so yes sunlight exactly the requirement of sunlight might depend on the variety variety of the succulent but yes put them outdoors put them in a bright shade bright indirect light and things like that so that's great okay now let's talk about one thing that all the things that we grow from seed and we have referred to this from time to time. What to do with them? How to transplant? When to transplant? So when we put a seed, we put a seed in a paper cup. Ideally, I want you to put in a paper cup so you are not over watering after it germinates. Before it germinates, you really can't over water it much. But after it germinates, you can. It has roots now. It needs little watering. That's why we use a paper cup. Now, when the seed germinates, it will have two leaves. It will start getting two leaves, but after that, true leaves will start to come out. The genuine leaf of the same shape and size of the actual plant. <coughs> after the plant becomes like this high, what would you call this? This would be about five inch, four to five inch tall. And it should have five, six leaves. Generally, it takes about three to four weeks for a plant to reach this height. After that, take it out from the cup along with the soil. Just take out the cup. If you can't, just cut the cup. That's why we are using a paper cup. Take it out, dig a small hole in your pot and place this inside. That's the way. That's how you need to transplant all your uh, seeds into the pot. Now water them, water them well for next couple of days. On By couple, I mean like seven days, 10 days. After you start seeing new growth, after you start seeing new growth from the time you had put it into the bigger pot, if it starts seeing new signs of new growth, that means the transplant has been successful. Now for plants like lemon or tomatoes, most of the other plants that we want, put them in uh, sun. Uh, bright sunlight, indirect sun, couple of hours of sun, initial days, that helps, right? Don't put it into eight hours of sunlight from the day go, right? So just gradually put it in. And that's how you need to work with your saplings that you have grown from seed.
size of the pot i would say put it in an 8 inch pot because most of the plants that we talk about which we talked about here they are all going to get big uh so be it chili capsicum tomato cucumber lemon karela all of them put them in an 8 inch pot that will be great 6 inch pot would be too small 6 inches too small put it in an 8 inch and uh, yeah don't transplant in sandy mix transplant in a normal garden soil something that you use for your plants generally put them in that uh, because we put them in sandy soil when there is no roots we put it in a sandy soil when we want to create roots for a plant but this plant already has roots so you don't need to put it in a sandy soil but we need to put it in a uh, clearly well drained soil what by i mean by well drained soil is when you water the water should be able to seep out from the bottom if there is excess water raza a is asking a very good question where to keep the cup till it germinates keep it indoors uh before you see the sign of the growth you can keep it uh any place where it's a bit warm uh it is moist because you're watering and if it is dark that's also great uh but uh, after it germinates keep it indoors but bring it to some place bright it can be a kitchen with artificial light it can be a window any place where there is good light uh but indoors so we don't want direct heat and the harshness of the sun but we want some brightness of the light so that the plant doesn't have to go looking for the light that's one challenge that happens when your seed is small the moment it starts germinating after it has germinated it starts looking for light when there is no light it will start going like this 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 and then it becomes difficult to grow it well so yeah if there is no 8 inch pot anur arundhati then put it in a 6 inch at least start because after the lockdown is over you can then move it from 6 what are the other questions so firstly i want to take any question which are directly related to anything that we have done on 20 days not specific to this plant that plant this plant because there's no end to it i mean we can go through the list of 500 600 plants and still have one plant left for somebody so is there any can you show your lemon sadly no because mine didn't grow and after that i used that same cup to shoot a video about how to grow lemon so i have a lemon but it's still in seed stage because initially i forgot to water it then i kept seeing that plant then i thought i have to put out videos right after the lives end so i started shooting videos uh so that seed is still seed because i started with a fresh seed in that lemon thing but but Neha Khandelwal sees her lemon germinating, and Akshaya, what I'll do is I will show you. Can I show a photo here? No, no. I have them here, but I don't know how to show it to them. I'm gonna show it to you. So yes, uh, it will grow. Germination pics. Let's see this. this is from sunita menon can you see this this is i think sarso if i'm right that is sarso this is her coriander growing this might be tomato i'm not sure this might be tomato and like that actually i have a lot of them is just that uh i have from charmisha and how much water does seed require daily keep the soil moist it is very important to keep the soil moist uh, and uh, i think there is one important thing to talk about this onion i'll just talk about it uh, this remind me keep the soil moist uh, seeds need moisture and darkness and a comfort to know that they can germinate now we had planted onion in the water right we had put onion on top of the bottle and the idea was its idea main idea when i said that was for as a kids activity the kids get to see the root system really growing well kids get to see the shoots coming 
and that's a really great uh, inquisitive and a to the curious mind of kid it's a great activity also it's a great learning to show that you know what there's such a huge root system which remains under the soil which remains unseen for a kid that's amazing right he doesn't know that roots are growing uh, below the soil many a times now if you want to take that onion and put it in soil you can and if you decide to put it in soil you have to cover till the top of the onion leaving the shoot outside don't cover the shoot even if part of the onion is outside that's okay but don't put the shoot inside the soil right and then what can you expect uh for some people you can expect it to go bad uh some percentage because uh, if there is anything wrong with the root system then that will be an issue make the soil very loose and what you can expect is for the shoot to grow even more and turn it into a flower uh the it will also flower if you keep keep it in water as it is it will flower as it is in water if you want to cut the onion leaves and use it for cooking that's great you can use that and they are amazing in fact a lot of people recommend growing onions in small uh, this uh, food containers that we get for home delivery just putting them just have we have put microgreens to put that onions there just to harvest the shoots they are they are nice i mean they are like spring onion leaves right what we get so they are good shift so in future always start coriander in the same pot in which you want to keep it coriander has very shallow roots so when you transplant it it is normally not successful so what i would recommend If you grow coriander from seed, it's very easy to grow again in the bigger pot. Grow again, and let this small dabba remain where it is as it is. Something will come out of it, and you can harvest that. Uh, Ritushi says, "My niece and nephew are things. Thank you, uncle. Thank you, Ritushi, for involving everyone and being a great aunt during this time." Uh, Prerna says, "Fed up of germinating coriander after four four failed attempts. Did you split the seeds? That's my biggest question. Did you split the seeds? If not, do that. And did you soak them in water? If not, do that. And uh, after that, another way of cutting. So that is another thing. I have done it on the video, both on Instagram and on our YouTube during these sessions." so you can uh, look at that should i shifting it how to plant tomato we did this how many seeds are good to grow into a plant for example lemon that is what diggaj vyas is asking So it depends on how many lemon plants you want. The idea is, it's easiest to start with more number of seeds at the time when you are starting. But say if you start with less number of seeds and something goes wrong, it doesn't germinate. Then you feel it failed. It's nature. Nature is all about like you see humans are different, seeds are different. Some germinate, some don't. Some don't, some don't. so the same way we have to the best thing is start with maximum number of seeds that you can so that some some of them germinate some of them become healthy plants some of them root well and things like that for lemon i would say start with 5 7 seeds and put make like four paper cups with three seeds in each of them so that four trees are 12 that i think would be my perfect combination how much time does lemon take to start fruiting about 1 and 1/2 to 2 years i would say 1 1 and 1/2 but after that it will start fruiting regularly you will get lemons uh, very regularly okay okay mint please do not root instead use stem yes we have to use mint stem make a fresh cut in mint stem clear the nodes and put that mint in water once it starts fruiting shift it to 
pot it grows beautifully let me show you my mint because mint i just shot also i have Okay, okay, okay. This is my mint plant, and uh, this is from one mint cutting. Now, the same idea of trimming works for herbs also. Ideally, what do you want to do? You start pinching from the top. Remove these. Beautiful. Right now, pinch this. These I'll let it be. You see how it divided into two. So I pinched earlier here, and then it has divided into two big ones. And uh, now let's. So this is mint care. Now I remember this spot was the one where I had made the stem lie down, and uh, it's smelling very well. And just wondering if I should take it out and show you how the plant has done. Okay. You see, it has created more roots, and you'll see these are very different from the roots we had in water. And now, let me just use this to explain. When people ask, uh, why can't the same proofs work? And if you go back to my video, which is on Instagram right now, but I mean we just put it out. Or if you look at, you might remember your own seeds, right? Or oh, your own roots of mint. Do you see this tertiaryness? There's this one main root, then there's smaller root, then the smaller roots has smaller roots. This is typical of soil. This is typical of soil. And in water, you have roots which just go longer and longer, then they might divide, and that is long. They don't have these tertiary uh, fiber kind of fibrous uh, things. Same thing here. You need to pinch, and in general, it works. So, yeah. After some time, what's going to happen is it's going to start dividing from the bottom, and. Uh, I might just empty that pot and transfer this one to this itself because yes, I need pots for videos. So yes, okay. My mint has rooted about top stem is drying. Is that okay? Uh, in water, yes. Uh, after you have done it in soil, then that's an issue. So normally, when you put the mint cuttings in water, it is normal for the mint leaves to start. Drooping or to dry out the leaves which were earlier there, uh, but what you have to focus is upon the new leaves coming, the new growth happening. Right, multiple plants. We can't keep doing that. Doing what? I didn't get that. Sunita Rupchandani, uh, can you just say what? Can you not? I'll, I'll just help you out there. Okay. Getting soil from park, I do that. <laughs> I I do that at times. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, thank you everyone for not only today but for this journey. 
and as i say i see these comments and i love the fact that people help each other it's amazing it seems like this is a conversation room and we want to keep that and that's why even though we'll be sending out an email just for an update i don't know i don't know whether we'll have a video tomorrow or not but i know one thing from saturday definitely we'll have one video a day every day at 4 o'clock now for us to do a video tomorrow we'll have to do it on something else other than things growing because my things are still growing and for me to complete a video they have to grow so yes we'll work out something we will definitely have a video every day from saturday but uh, i'll going to but and what we are going to do is we are going to still try and do a weekly or every 14 days kind of a live session thank you so much for coming and uh, if you don't follow us on instagram do follow us on instagram uh, we have some really amazing live sessions coming up there we have been talking and reaching out to multiple people and i'm really great on how because of the community a lot of people want to come and share their experiences and information and knowledge with the community so that's great the other thing is please share our youtube channel wherever you can if there is any facebook group any uh, whatsapp group where you can spread the word pick any one good video don't pick this live session because i know live session i mean we enjoy these live sessions but a lot of other people may not because it's too long it's unstructured they don't know what's happening the video quality is not good i can't hear you all things like that so pick up any one video that you like uh, can it be 15 indoor plants or five tips for or indoor plants and tips that's actually the most comprehensive one it also had good number of views so pick that just share it with people we really want to create a vibrant great community on youtube because i think instagram has one limitation that is people are not able to search back the content that's what i found and uh, even though we have created a lot of content but even today we have to search it for them because they are not able to find it and it's a genuine problem and that's where i think youtube really helped the other thing is i want to really create a great content we want to take it to the next level we have been discussing on uh, videos which are matching your tv serial qualities in terms of production in terms of uh, experience in terms of both the knowledge and entertainment that's the kind of work we want to do like one of the series i had in mind was hunting plants and i was just thinking uh, going around the city and showing how to take cuttings from various places uh both exactly how to cut how to ask permissions where not to ask permissions and what kind of plants to pick up in general that's the idea so that's just one flavor but obviously after the lockdown ends and everything is normal and uh initially things are done so that's essentially what we want to do and uh thank you 67 people are there you know i love when you like and it's not about me liking it's more about so now it's just that once we are on youtube we have to play by the rules of youtube and that's why i have to ask you to subscribe i have to ask you to like the video because that's how youtube gets to know this video is worth sharing and that's why i have to ask you that please share one of our videos the indo plant video manoj can you put the link here the indo plant and tips video where i'm posing with the fiddle leaf one uh what about tomorrow because she will mail you the next time you have to come we'll mail you it is not going to be a live session uh, another thing you can do is you can click that notification button so that whenever we go premiere uh, we will get notified uh, i know it it seems uh, like for 21 days we had the schedule and it's a uh, empty slot now 4 o'clock in fact i remember satvik was uh, scheduling an interview for me for tomorrow at 4 o'clock and i was like no don't do that I still want to keep that four o'clock slot just in case we want to do something. So four to five, I'm like I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, so that's the thing. And uh, I'll see you. You'll see my video. We'll continue to do live somewhere or the other. Post on Instagram or Facebook, any one place, because uh, I will put up the schedule things. Actually, uh, 
at least don't need to follow anywhere else no 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 on youtube now i know i can put up a post so i will put up a post of uh, whatever the schedule or things are like and uh, thank you for coming that's why it's such a long bye today because <laughs> i have to thank for a lot of things okay thank you shweta agni thank you sumanya kazi uh, thank you akshaya thank you ritushi thank you abhimanyu uh, uh abhimanyu we will check the dm uh, sumanya kazi my mind need some help can you please give me some tip my pins are not rooting since over a week make fresh cut make a fresh cut in the bottom uh ritushi we'll miss you too dr shweta singh thank you uh, lujan uh, thank you so much i've seen your comments on my video and thank you for that uh arand hydroponics neha khandelwal thank you ginger mikhali thank you purva harpale thank you so much kanika thanks supriya desai thank you thank you so much guys it's it's amazing i don't think i would have started on youtube if it was not for these live sessions i would not have started uh shitali parekh thik says thank you which email id for plant pictures video at lazy gardener video at lazy gardener and Akshay says, "Come tomorrow." Okay, come tomorrow. It will not be a live, but you will find a video. Okay, I'll do this thing. I will make sure we have a video tomorrow. I know. I mean, for me, it's becoming hard to say. Yeah, okay, there's going to be nothing tomorrow. We will have something. Okay, okay, come. We will have some video there premiering. Uh, I'll try to make a good one. Bye bye. Thank you. Ciao.